Hi, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how I draw lips, um, how I structure them and how I color it. So yeah, enjoy. I'm finally back with a new video for the new year and I thought that I will start it off with a how I draw um, and today I want to do lips. I enjoy drawing lips. I think they're one of my favorite things to draw on a face. Yeah, I thought I would sit down today and try and film one. Um, I've sketched out a few already, but I'm going to show you how I sketch them out um, again. So yeah, let's start with that. So how I do it is just like, I usually start with the middle parts. What do you call that? I don't know. Um, and then I like make this shape and then connect, connect it kind of in here a bit. Then I add this part outer corners i think i don't know the words i just know how it looks and then the top part the top lip and the bottom lip basically something like this i guess it would be a good idea um if you're not familiar with how lips look to pull up an image of lips just to make sure that you've got the shape right but then again lips do come in different shapes and sizes so i think you'll be fine but just in the most like basic way this is honestly what i do and then i just kind of start painting on top um okay let me draw one maybe close lip And if you're wondering what brush I'm using, I'm just using um, the Jing Sketch Basics, the Sketch Round. It's a free brush. That's good. <laughs> and yeah, that's kind of how I go about doing the shape. I guess I'll move on to coloring. When it comes to coloring the lips, how I color lips anyway, I usually do two-toned lips which is pretty common with a lot of black people. I have two-toned lips myself. And if you're like stuck on how to do that, like you can just look at pictures of like um, black people with their lips. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I really like drawing two-toned lips. I think they're really pretty. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll leave that up there as like colors. I'm going to change this to multiply and then change the color of that to like red or something. After I've put down like a skin base, uh, I usually go to the slider and like move it a little bit to the reds i would usually kind of darken that a bit and just try it onto the onto the canvas and see if it looks nice and then i just fill in the lip with that shape with that color and then for the bottom again i move to the reds and i try to like lighten it and see what works And I usually layer them on. So I'll start with like a muted kind of color and then kind of build it up. So I guess I'm just going to start like playing around with the colors and just trying to make it look nice i'm just uh putting like what do you call that like right by the lift there's like a slight like right here is what i'm trying to replicate and also at the top as well so that's what i'm trying to do Thank you. 
I think now I'm gonna go on top of everything and just start uh, painting over it or rendering. So far, this is what it's looking like. I like to also create a new layer on top and add some like splashes of blue as like shadows. Okay, so now it's time to add highlights and I like this part, this is fun. Um, usually I kind of just put it at random and I make it like as intense or as minimal as I want. Um, so this is pretty simple but it gives the effect. Um, so I'm just going to play around with different lip patterns and see uh, which one I like more.
this is how they turned out and i'm really happy with how they look especially this one yeah that's basically how i break it down in my head i hope that it was like helpful i hope you learned something new i hope that uh it inspires you to draw more you know two-toned lips and thank you so much for watching and <laughs> goodbye <laughs>